I mean, you've been naked, you've grown up someone like me with a five year old kid. And I may have weird combinations of food. Yo, what the heck? What the heck? Do you know the other day I saw pumpkin and spaghetti? I didn't mm. even tell you this one. When I <laughs> saw this one, me. it was over <laughs> for me. Like, you know, it's okay. I'll just go to Africa. No problem. Pumpkin and spaghetti. No. <laughs> but the thing is that when I'm going to ask stage, you tell me I'm going to perform. Eh, I'm going to ask my pens are tight. I'm going to ask you to call your gas. What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Sparky Tate again. My name is Barry and Wangi. And I'm Carol. And today, today, hey! <laughs> We are going to be telling you some of the things that have shocked us the most living in Germany. As you all know, Carol is Kenyan, I am also Kenyan, and I've been here for almost three years. I think she's been here for almost two years. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why are you so old? Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we definitely know a few things about Germany, but we also know a lot of things that have shocked us. As foreigners living here as well as Africans living here and yes so today we're going to be listing them out yes and then yes. we'll let you guys know what it feels like to live here as a foreigner and someone also requested that we should do a video of what it feels like to be here as a black woman we are also oh. going to be doing that video so without any further ado, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bar Bell. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> the notification bell so you join the gang 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 gang. Yeah. Yes, without any further ado, we So the number one thing that has shocked us the most or shocked me the most, I don't know if it shocked her that bad, <laughs> is the fact that everything is closed on Sunday. Hey, that's that's what I have trauma from that. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you don't go shopping on Saturday, forget. You're sleeping hungry. That's it. No shower gel. No nothing. No nothing. Everything, literally everything is closed on Sunday. The only things that are open is the, um, the supermarket and the drugstore at the train station. And it's only because at the train station. Otherwise, every other place, everything is closed on Sunday because in Germany... The seventh day is actually literally considered as the day of rest. So that's one of the things that shocked me the most living here. And yeah. To add on to that, even transportation is hard on Sunday. Yeah. So to even get to that one store that is open on Sunday, it's a it's a hassle. Yeah. Like one train an hour or so and yeah. Sundays and just not it's just buy food. Like there's nothing <laughs> else that's making us this sad. It's the fact that it was food. Yeah. Mm. My, my sh the shocking thing I found out here was like how how much Germans are into recycling. Like yeah. there's there's the level of um, separating your trash in the house, and then there's the level of collecting bottles on the street to go return them to supermarkets, and people actually actively do that, and it's called fund. So you go, you take your your bottle, like the certain bottles that are fund bottles. And you return them to a specific supermarket, like mostly where you bought them, right? Yeah. 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 So you return them to the supermarket and then you get like 25 cents for each bottle. And you're like, that's a legit business. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so people save bottles and all that. And the first few months, I was just throwing away all my bottles only to realize, oh me, that's that is my money. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I totally anyway. support this one because uh, it's true. Germans are really heavy on recycling. And it's leave alone the bottles. You see the trash? If you mix your trash, nobody's picking <laughs> it up. Jesus Christ, your trash will be staying at your door yeah. for three weeks because it wasn't separated. So separate your trash if you move to Germany because nobody's picking it. And don't throw away your bottles. That's 25 cents. Yes. That you actually initially paid for. Okay. Get your money back. Get your so money back. The other thing that shocked me the most about moving to Germany, this one particularly reminds me of the first day I was in the city. So when I landed in Germany, I landed in Frankfurt. It was a cold uh, March. Yeah, it was a cold March 18th like this in 2019. 
and then i came all the way to hanover and then i went directly to the to the village where i was going to be staying at as an au pair and then when i first came to hanover for the first time like in the city with my friend that i had met from togo everybody was smoking you look around everybody is literally smoking women young kids men old very old women and very old men and i'm just like yo why is everybody smoking like is it a thing so once you stay here for long you, you get to realize that it's not everybody who's smoking it's just that a lot of people smoke in germany yeah. and uh, for me that was really shocking because i come from kenya it's an african country and women don't really smoke that much i think you would barely ever see a woman smoking especially a cigarette you might see shisha every now and then but it's i don't know personally i didn't see anybody smoke round about the women is like, not know. really that yeah it's kind of like a taboo thing exactly for women mostly yeah, yeah. but then when you come here hey everybody smokes yeah everybody smokes you find 13 year olds they're hiding somewhere yeah. they're, they're all smoking i don't know why but uh, there's a very rich smoking culture in germany that's all we're trying to say you know like did no i tell germany. you about the time we went for an fsj seminar and mm -hmm. we were in like some sort of resort mm -hmm. and a group of kids had a school outing mm -hmm. so they were staying in the same resort and a bunch of kids like kids like this they were like my, my my small brother's age like 14 15 at that time and the kids came up to me i was talking on the phone with my mom and then they're like um has to has has to i was so shocked they wouldn't even ask for fire they asked no, they like, want like the they want the cigarettes and no. i was so shocked i was i was just stunned because i'm like I believe you. You kids. Yeah. You kids. I absolutely believe you because you are oh. kids. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, that one that one I think that's the first time I realized a hey, smoking is really really serious. Yeah, yeah, it's really serious. I think it maybe has a lot to do with a stressful culture and the uh, I don't know maybe the cold i don't know but yeah the point is if you come to germany and you smoke you're going to enjoy it if you don't you're going to definitely see a lot of people smoke yeah and every minute uh rauch pause <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah ich muss ich muss rauchen ich muss, ich muss eine rauchen es geht gar nicht ja wieso das geht doch gar nicht das gibt's nicht, geht nicht. ja ich muss eine pause rauchen ich muss noch pause machen <lacht> The other thing that really shocked me is how hard it is to make friends here. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Especially being an introvert. Like. Like. Why is them people? Where are, where are you guys? Like, are you hiding from me? Like, <laughs> what's going on? As, hey, as on if you have cracked the code on how to make friends in Germany, please share. No. Don't be stingy. Sure. I think I've been here for three years and I've not made five concrete friends. Hey. I swear. And I am not even an introvert. So, how many friends have you made? <laughs> so, all of you, we are lonely. Like, like show us. DM me, I DM you. Let's meet up, let's be friends. Like, this can be serious this can be serious so no. the other thing that shocked us the most both of us actually so we both have a driver's license in kenya and i think in total it costs if you go really on the higher side about 300 euro yeah i don't even think it really gets exactly to it that it costs 10 times more to do your license here it costs three thousand euro to do your driver's license here like that's just driving school you've not even bought the car and then you need to buy the car luckily cars are cheap in germany yeah but what the <laughs> heck what the oh heck oh my god that, what the heck am i doing for three thousand euros so if you can do your license where you are make sure you do it and make sure you educate yourself on how you can save there's some ways you can save up on your license but just if you don't have a license you're in for it bro you're just in for it sure, there's no way out in time just, yeah no you're in so, for it the other shock you go into a supermarket you buy your things you're at the checkout line and all of a sudden these people are throwing all your things at you 
like the first day by the way i was i was like yo uh, the person who's supposed to pack the groceries is not here like what's going on so i'm just there like okay she's not there maybe i can tell but this 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 mama is there she's just throwing the things and then they move so fast they're like shh, 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 shh. everything welcome to aldi time for this like what are you waiting for and at that time that's that's now when it hit me oh my god there's no one to do this it's me it's no. me like these people are all waiting for me to pack my stuff and the bags are not free oh yeah the bags are not free so you have to carry your own i don't have my own bag she's just thrown everything there i'm waiting for someone to pack it I don't even have a bag. And then everyone is just looking at me like, why are you not moving? Yeah, why yeah, are you yeah, not why you like, wasting what's, time? What's going on? I had to buy a bag and then pack my things. And this whole time, people are just looking at me like, <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I totally understand you. Luckily for me, my first shopping, I went with my host mom. But let me tell you the truth. When they start moving those things, yeah, and then you're just there, you're just like, yo, and if you're not okay. moving, she stops and looks at you. Once you like, just pop one item, pop, 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 bro, relax, relax, <laughs> God, relax, <laughs> calm down. It's never yeah, that serious, it can't be that serious. And it's not even rush hour. You're at the supermarket at like 12 p.m. There's nobody there, but mm -mm, she, she, they just have the need to rush. I don't know why. I, I'm about to tell you guys about nudism. Let me come closer. In Germany, people are not scared of being naked. People are not scared of being seen naked. And people have no age limit for being naked. By that, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, you've been naked, you've grown up someone like me with a five-year-old kid. And the thing is, a five-year-old kid knows what they're seeing. They've you know, seen it all. Yeah. Like, it's not even unusual. It's not a thing. Anything. It's not a thing. I remember <sighs> going swimming for the first time with my host mom, and we went, we went out swimming and everything, so there were cabinets where you could go. Like once you just check in and you go, there's some cabinets where you can go and change. So I didn't really get to know what was going on. And then we all met at the pool. Coming back from swimming, you know, you all have to shower. It's just one open room with different shower heads. Ha! Huh, she took off her clothes. Her kids. And the problem is you look around, everybody is doing the same thing. The same thing. They're all showering all of them together tell you the truth i just took my stuff i went back <laughs> <I remember. laughs> Wahala. No. no there's no way six year old are seeing me naked like no. it's literally just a room yeah and then shower heads like no partitions yeah. or anything and then people are just there boom <laughs> all of them any age any size any skin color whatever <laughs> everybody is just don't you ever dare go to a sauna in germany because they would call you out for going in with clothes if it's a sauna it's a sauna and you're gonna be naked if someone asks you on a sauna date refuse say no say no no get me <laughs> or go in a practice round on your own <laughs> <laughs> go and ready. check me <laughs> go traumatize yourself alone first so that you'll know how to react the second time because hey yep. stressful situation mm -hmm. so, so, <laughs> the other thing that she really, mm -hmm. like it, it got to me a lot was the staring Ooh. oh my god Germans Ooh. like to stare at people mm -hmm. <gasps> like you'll just be seated in the train Minding your own business, you look up and a person is just like the whole time, like they're not even blinking, they're just looking at you like and you're like relax, like what the heck? 
do I have something that belongs to you? What up? Like, hmm? the whole time this person is just staring at you, but I realized when you stare back, they look away like they, they, they just snap out of it and then they're like, sorry. Yeah, they won't apologize, but you'll notice that they, they feel some type, some type of way because now you're the one staring at them. But honestly, it's a real thing. Like, you'll just be walking and people are staring at you for no reason. Like, you, you've not done anything wrong. You don't look weird. Your clothes are on right. <laughs> but these people just feel, right. Yeah, like, they just feel the need to stare at you. And yeah. you're like... Oh but do you God. know, one day, I asked a German, like... At, uh, well i work and i was like why do you guys stare at people like this like why do you guys just find the need to sit and just really without any shame or remorse stare at someone yeah. and they told me they do that even with germans like it's not even about being black or no anything. it's not like yeah, just it's like just germans at like people. to stare i don't get it honestly you know, hey, if you're, you're really weird, weird, yeah yeah it's true and they don't even hide you'll just find someone like Down. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> if you like gossip, <laughs> if you like to gossip, don't do it in English. Don't you dare! Like no, nothing should tell you you should gossip in 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 Germany in English. That is forbidden. Why? Because basically all Germans can't speak English. If you ask them, they say, no, I speak very little. No, so bisschen, no, bisschen. Kleines bisschen. <laughs> they understand every single thing. <laughs> Don't gossip in English. Everybody can speak English. And even if they say they cannot, they do understand. Just And then if you also have a problem, don't have a problem asking because most of them do speak English. Yeah. Or most of the ones in English are mostly mostly the translation is the same in german or just the pronunciation is different so if you have a question like just ask in english most likely than not the person will actually understand what you're saying they may not be able to communicate very well mm -hmm. like respond very clearly to what you're asking but they will understand what you're asking that's true but yeah hey don't don't think you can gossip up uh, about a person who's like right next to you in English thinking oh it's Germany they don't get it yeah. uh, you get caught and bruh. you get sued <laughs> <laughs> you get your ass sued <laughs> so, and another thing taking photos of people Ooh. and and privacy and all that stuff damn that is shocking like these people really take their privacy privacy seriously so like if you take a person uh, a photo of a person or like you take a photo and someone is in the background or something like that and you post it and this person sees it you about to get sued you was getting sued you was getting sued you is getting sued or if you do like <clears throat> videos recently i came across something that is somewhere if you shoot videos maybe in your working environment work environment and you don't really shoot anyone or anything you get sued for suing a uh, for so for for shooting. Shooting. I was saying suing. <laughs> <laughs> you get sued for shooting in an environment that's not your own. So if you in Germany, be careful what you photograph. And if you photograph any people, either you ask for their consent and make yeah. sure you have it written. Written consent. Yeah. It's not like just they said. It's yeah. Okay. Nobody said. Who said? <laughs> Who? Because anybody, everybody, let me tell the truth. Everybody in Germany is looking for an opportunity to sue. Why? Because you get money out of it. <laughs> you get money out of it. So don't try. This is their way out. This is, <laughs> everyone is looking for a way out in this life. Bro. <laughs> yeah, this is their way out. So don't, don't be the one to finance someone's way out. You'll yeah. be it. Ah, the other thing about Germany, you see old people, they'll call you out. <coughs> You're seated in the bus, your legs are up, they'll call you out. You cross the traffic light, they're calling you out. In fact, they'll call police. <laughs> they're they calling will, the cops on you. Really yeah. Oh my god, they will. Play loud music, they're calling the cops. Do anything wrong, people have no shame here to correct you. The, you did this. And these people like rules. Oh my and god. And they are so obedient. 
well not all of them but most of them are so obedient like nobody will consciously break a law if they know it's illegal they're not doing it so if you do it because you do it in your country like you're getting a lecture one two you're getting sued three they're calling police on you don't you dare don't you dare yep. don't do it <laughs> don't like, do it don't no whatever happens don't do it <laughs> don't do it <laughs> but just make sure no one sees you because yeah. if they see you bruh it's going down yep <laughs> the other thing is bread oh my god oh, yeah these people and bread i do not get it i really don't get it like these people have thousands of types of breads mm -hmm. and i honestly don't see the difference Who like no Who? just forgive me but honestly i, I know, swear I, know I have touched clear. many hearts i know i have a, i have offended many people but honestly i just know white bread <laughs> and then there's brown bread and then there's this bread of this that tastes horrible that is just like honestly there's no flour it's just seeds Oh, you know that bread. <laughs> it tastes like sand. It tastes like there's soil. No, there's no, there's no flour. It's just seeds. Like all you see are seeds. No. Like it's just a bunch of seeds that are compressed together <laughs> and they form bread. <laughs> In the shape of bread. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get it. Like I don't get the obsession with bread. I don't no. get why they really. like these dark, dark types of bread that <laughs> taste so bad. <laughs> It they tastes like soil. so bad, yeah. but these people really love their bread. Yeah. Like I don't get it. That's true. Particularly, whatever <laughs> what's up, it's the food. Hey. Oh, another thing, the food is horrible. <laughs> I think it's true. <laughs> hey, bro, the food. <laughs> no. Yo, seasoning. Seasoning is salt and pepper. Like Season what? <laughs> Seasoning run to get to get run to get like <laughs> yeah seasoning food but we did say that like because no, they donate I, I food to Africa I, please 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 yeah <laughs> I really I really 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 experienced this especially when I was doing my woodlands here we used to eat uh, like they used to provide lunch for us mm -hmm. so we'd go to eat and then someone would be like. Ooh, das Essen ist so scharf heute. And then you taste it, and all I taste, all, all I can taste is salt. So I'm like, <sighs> am I the problem? <laughs> is it me? Is it me? <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you. I told you I'll stop going to this cafeteria here because. Mm -mm. God, no, no, like, no. And they have weird combinations of food. Yo, what the heck? What the heck? Do you know the other day I saw pumpkin and spaghetti? I didn't mm. even tell you this one. When I <laughs> saw this one, new. it was over <laughs> for me. Like, you know, it's okay. I'll just go to Africa. No problem. Pumpkin and spaghetti. No. No, bro, no. It's <laughs> like, ooh, mm -mm. you crossed the line. Mm -mm. You crossed the mm -mm. line. Mm -mm. No. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. And boiled these this boiled meat of theirs that oh. has been a <laughs> <Shinigo. laughs> Like the meat tastes like towel marinated in vinegar. <laughs> the food is just weird. I Man. think you're just one quiet person whom I'm glad you're quiet. Yeah, honestly. How can you tell on, people their food is like on. <laughs> their food is like towel dipped in vinegar? No, no honestly. But it's true. <laughs> it's so true. Honestly. It's so anyway. true. Not all their food is bad, yeah, but but. Oh, but before you find that food that is not bad, you yeah, you've mean. gone through a lot. Mm. I think just to to make sure we we save the culture, we have to do another video of the things we like in Germany. Yeah. Because bro, but I really like the kartoffel taschen. They're really good. Yeah, kartoffel taschen is good. Rusty or is it rusty? 
posted this kartoffel thing that they also put yeah, everything yeah, those, those are, are problems too. everything is the kartoffel. mushrooms are good like mushrooms is good yeah uh, anything schmalz cook schmalz cook is perfect <laughs> like a lot of things are good but most of them this thing schnitzel schnitzel is perfect and bratwurst is also good bratwurst is the shit like in fact we needed to go but yeah bratwurst so they, is they, the they shit. do have good food but oh This video is already really the other side. <laughs> what you said, the other side, the other side. Ooh, the other side is not bright. Yeah. So I think we're going to stop this video at this point. If you want to, oh, why do I keep trying to unlock your phone? It's my password. Um. Yeah, we'll stop this video at this point. There's so much more we can talk about on this video, but I think also to hold the attention all this long is also not easy. So we're definitely going to do a part two if you guys tell us to do a part two on the comment section. Make sure you also thank Carol for being here. <laughs> ah! Sorry. Oh my God. Fine. Uh, I'll tell Germans what you said about them. <laughs> I think they know. Okay. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on another video. Bye! <laughs>